Hey everyone, this is Ryan, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Energy Web, the Energy Web token, and the Bitcoin energy consumption problem. Now, I think that this issue presents a huge opportunity for Energy Web and Energy Web investors over the coming months and years. And in today's video, we're going to dive into why. Now, when some of you hear me say the Bitcoin energy consumption problem, um, you know, there will be a number of people that dismiss it and think, you know, it's not really an issue, it's overhyped, not worried about it, and, and things like that. Um, there are really good arguments um, either way. However, at this point in 2021, um, it's kind of irrelevant because the narrative is clean energy, renewables, climate change, and having a zero carbon footprint. Companies are being pushed to achieve all of those things by the media, by uh, their shareholders and stakeholders. So that is the world that we're living in. Um, companies are, are moving that way, um, regardless of any individual's opinion. And I think this is great for the Energy Web Foundation. It presents um, really big opportunities for um, Energy Web token investors. And today, in this video, we're gonna dive into uh, the Bitcoin energy consumption problem and what it could mean for Energy Web over the coming years. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start this with Tesla. Now, everybody knows, um, beginning of 2021, uh, Tesla really plunged into Bitcoin. We'd all been waiting for it. And, um, you know, they made the biggest corporate buy ever by, um, you know, by, by quite a distance. Now, as soon as they did that, poor old Elon Musk, he got absolutely peppered with articles, tweets, everything, basically saying how this goes against everything that Tesla stands for, basically his life, life's work of you know, trying to save the environment and all that kind of thing. Um, and now he's investing in this, uh, you know, what, what they're calling dirty baggage here on, on Reuters, okay? And there, there are so many articles like this, basically just saying, you're a massive hypocrite, this is ridiculous. Um, you know, why, why are you doing this basically? So Financial Times, this is brilliant. The environmental idiocy of Tesla's Bitcoin bet. Bit harsh, but that's what they said. And you know, this is, this is basically the, the tone. Um, is Bitcoin endangering the green credentials of companies like Tesla, okay? And this sub, sub headline is pretty interesting. Climate conscious governments and activists are waking up to the fact that Bitcoin is a power hungry cryptocurrency which could come back to bite the institutions whose investments are powering its price boom. And I believe that's true. The, the public will not, and the politicians and the media will not let companies continue to pour huge amounts, billions, um, hundreds of billions of dollars into Bitcoin um, without addressing the energy consumption in, in some way, okay? And we're gonna get on in a minute how Energy Web uh, fits into this and, and why it's, it's such an opportunity. Couple more, um, you know, Tesla's 1.5% billion Bitcoin purchase clashes with its um, environmental aspirations. Um, Elon Musk's Bitcoin embrace is a bit of a head scratcher, brilliant headline, I love that one. So this is a trend, um, obviously, uh, you know, Tesla were the, were the first ones, um, they've kind of got hit hard with this, but this is going to happen uh, to basically any company that um, puts a lot of money into Bitcoin and has any kind of you know corporate um, social responsibility charter or has some kind of commitment to um, be uh, you know carbon zero by 2040 or whatever, which we'll, we'll get into in, in a minute. That's becoming more and more popular, and you know companies that are talking about that are not going to be able to invest in Bitcoin um, right now without getting serious flack. From, from the media, okay? So let's look at this a little bit more. Um, recently, Square announced a, uh, a new $10 million uh, investment um, to basically support and develop research into, um, into green uh, Bitcoin mining called the Bitcoin Clean Energy Investment Initiative, okay? And this is something that Energy Web is perfect for. We're gonna look at why in, in just a second. Now, this quote here from Jack Dorsey, um, the CEO of Square, I thought was very interesting basically says, we believe that cryptocurrency will eventually be powered completely by clean power, eliminating the carbon footprint and driving adoption of renewables globally. Um, basically, um, he's saying that right now, um, you know, Bitcoin is powered by a decent amount of, of clean energy, but nowhere near enough, and it's not guaranteed. You cannot track 
you cannot know if the bitcoins you're buying are green or not green. And that is where Energy Web is going to come in, um, in in a second. OK, so we know Square are buying Bitcoin. We know MicroStrategy are buying Bitcoin. We know Tesla are buying Bitcoin and probably more. There's been talk about Microsoft, um, Oracle and you know other companies like that. Now, more and more of these companies are committing to basically saying we are going to be um, you know, carbon net net zero by 2040. Is, it seems to be the, the year. And uh, Jeff Bezos and Amazon has actually launched this, um, this kind of organization, whatever, called the Climate Pledge. And huge companies are joining this, okay? Um, if you haven't seen it, this is basically what it is, theclimatepledge.com. Um, basically, this is a list of companies that said, um, we're going to be net zero carbon by 2040. And if you look at the, the, um, the likes of who is signing up for this, um, you know, Microsoft, Verizon, Best Buy, Unilever, Mercedes Benz, and, you know, 53 others so far of similar size. So this is the way the world's going. These companies are committing to be green, to be, you know, net zero on carbon by 2040. And at the same time, we're all expecting these kind of companies or these size of companies to invest in Bitcoin um, at some point. Doesn't quite add up for me right now unless something major happens, all right? And this again is where Energy Web comes in. Next, um, Kevin O'Leary, uh, Mr. Wonderful from, from Shark Tank, um, gave an interview the other day, um, I think it was, was um, with Stansbury Research, basically saying that he has, um, he's done a full 180 on Bitcoin. He's basically put, I think, 3% um, of his investment allegation into, um, into Bitcoin. And he says, my coins must be mined carbon neutral um, and with a sustainability um, mandate. And I'm not the only investor thinking that way. And right now, I'm going to play you a short 10 second clip from this interview, which I think is extremely interesting and has Energy Web written all over it. So let's watch that right now. But the point is, every coin I own, I want to know where it came from. And it was made sustainably. And guess what? I'm hearing that ringing in my ear from every institution all around the world. Now, the interesting thing for me in that clip was not talking about reducing energy consumption and, you know, saving the environment and all that kind of thing. And people just overall wanted to make Bitcoin greener. The interesting thing for me was that this guy and apparently everybody he's talking to, big investors, they want to know that the Bitcoins that they are buying are green, are um, mined sustainably, so they can say to their investors, to their shareholders, we are owning and purchasing and investing in carbon neutral Bitcoins um, that we can say they are green. Okay, so there's a big difference than just, oh, how can we reduce the um, overall energy consumption of Bitcoin and being able to say our Bitcoins are green your money is going into an investment that is good for the planet or or at least neutral and this is really where energy web comes into its own okay so you might have seen um recently a partnership between energy web and ripple for a product called um ew zero okay um the ceo of ripple uh, recently made this tweet um and energy web responded to it i thought it was pretty interesting um, the, the guy here, Brad Garlinghouse, makes a decent point, um, the, the Ripple guy, basically saying that um, Biden administration, all they're talking about is climate change. How about instead of just arguing about it um, and how much energy that Bitcoin uses, um, this focus on making the industry a leader in um, sustainability. They tagged Energy Web who are building solutions. OK, now, um, basically what Energy Web have said in response to this is that, um, you know, definitely discussions around Bitcoin energy use miss the point. Um, you know, it's not 100% renewable, um, no industry is, but we can get it there and we can do it fast, okay? And they've built a solution exactly for this. And I think with the way that the world is going, uh, all these huge companies want to invest in Bitcoin, but having these corporate social responsibility things that they need to, um, you know, they, they need to adhere to, um, this could potentially be, be huge. And from what I can tell, Energy Web is, is the leader in this space. So let's have a look at EW0, which is um, the product that they have built to, to do this. OK, so Energy Web Zero, uh, the digital gateway to zero carbon renewable energy. OK, so EW0 is an application to find, 
and digitally, digitally source verified emissions free renewable energy globally. All right. So this is massive. It obviously has implications um, way outside of blockchain. It has um, implications in basically every industry, but it was originally built to decarbonize the Ripple blockchain, which we'll have a look at in, in a second. And I just want to go into it a little bit more about, about what this is. Um, so essentially, EW0 enables energy renew any renewable energy buyer, um, big or small corporations, um, electrical vehicle fleets, and blockchain networks to find and source procurement options um, from across a wide variety of digital marketplaces globally. Um, so what that essentially means is that you can um, purchase energy on a, a global market that Energy Web has built, and you can basically um, buy certificates from that, that market that say, you know, what we're doing is green. And you can attach it to something like a, uh, a Bitcoin or a, you know, some other cryptocurrency, and you can use that process to essentially decarbonize an, in, uh, an entire blockchain which is what they've done with, um, with Ripple, okay? So this is a, um, an article from um, Coindesk that came out last year talking about what, um, what Energy Web have done with, with Ripple. And um, I just wanna uh, read this, this quote from, from the end uh, because this is where I really think the big opportunity for Energy Web investors is. And for this issue and this kind of, um, this kind of macro trend that's going on, to put energy web out there for the entire world and for every corporation that wants to buy crypto to know about energy web. Okay, um, this is from um, this is from Jesse Morris from um, Energy Web. Imagine in the future having a wallet interacting with some blockchain, and as a part of that wallet, you can actually increase your transaction fee just a bit. Um, so you've contributed to decarbonizing the blockchain by purchasing a certificate. Okay. Um, or if you are a Bitcoin miner in a mining pool, you're also able to use this application to directly purchase certificates in a specific part of the world. Now that's great. Um, obviously it's paying a little bit extra to do your bit to participate in a blockchain that is overall green, okay? Now one step further from this, which is not mentioned in this article, but was mentioned in a previous um, Energy Web AMA, is the ability to buy Bitcoins that are specifically tagged as green that are provably green, have a green quote unquote certificate that has been purchased through Energy Web, um, through the EW0 and the EW Origin platform, and then attached to the Bitcoins that you are purchasing. That is what corporations are gonna want. That is what Kevin O'Leary um, was talking about. And Energy Web are basically building this. And right now I'm gonna play you another short clip, just a few seconds of them talking about exactly how this could work with buying green Bitcoin from exchanges. So let's watch this. I think this is really brilliant. Uh, an exchange could now offer a service and that service could say, click here to top up your purchase order of a Bitcoin with uh, a few more Satoshis to add on a certificate. That certificate would basically be a green attribute that you're pairing with the energy that was used to produce that Bitcoin on the exchange. So one way, and in the background, right, zero would be facilitating that connection between the Bitcoin that's mined by a specific uh, mining pool and a certificate coming from a specific renewable energy facility. So from a user perspective, it would happen on the exchange. From an IT perspective, there's a connection using the zero architecture behind the scenes. So that little clip from Jesse Morris um, in Energy Web AMA was, for me, super bullish. If they can pull off something like that, where there's some kind of native uh, integration with exchanges where you can purchase Bitcoin for a small extra premium uh, with a guarantee, with a certificate um, telling you that the energy used to mine it is uh, green and renewable and doesn't have a carbon footprint. The demand for that, um, in my opinion, it's, it's going to be through the roof. Corporations are going to want it. Individuals are, are going to want it. And from what I can tell, um, Energy Web are the best um, place, uh, or place organization to do something like that. Um, from my knowledge, they're the only company that's already uh, decarbonized an entire blockchain with, with Ripple. So this could be the kind of thing that really, um, really gets their name out into, into the mainstream. 
and um, you know corporations could be in the future buying uh, green Bitcoin certified by Energy Web. And I think that is super, super exciting. So if you like Energy Web, if you like this video, um, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Um, that is it for now. I am uh, off to play darts. Thanks.